Good afternoon, everybody. My name is George Liu. I'm here to bring my interpretation of success to everyone. So starting off, I want to introduce someone very special to everyone. My mother, who is sitting in the crowd right now. And my mother was an obstetrician before I was born. So, and, and you cannot believe what a tough decision she had to make to have me. Well, she had to quit her job. And many of you may ask why. Well, it's because there's something called the one child policy in China. And because she's a doctor, she has to follow certain strict dedication. And can I have a show of hands? How many of you have ever heard of this policy before? Okay, not a lot, but I guess that most of you guys can understand how, how much it impacted the mothers during that time. So because of me, she left her proud profession, which was her passion, and she worked so hard to achieve. And this has always been an unfortunate part of her past. And due to circumstances beyond her control, she was compelled to give up on her dreams. And she selflessly give, dedicated herself in providing me with the best possible future. And both my parents wanted me to accomplish the dream that she hadn't finished. So since I was born, I've been shoved with ideas like doctors have a higher social status and doctors have a high and constant salary. And it's been carved in our minds that doctors are the manifestation of success. This continued until I was 12 years old. And this was the year when our school started teaching the subject of physics. And my attention was captured right away. And why? Well, the subject of matter and energy is the fundamental level of how the world operates. And that's what really fascinated me. So I continued my passion for physics all the way through secondary school until high school. Now, I'm faced with the decision of choosing my future path. I find myself at a crossroad. Well, should I listen to my parents' expectations and dreams or should I listen to my own deepest desires and pursue my passion on physics? Have you ever had to make such a tough decision? Well, it's an awkward situation many of us face, balancing social expectations and personal interests. But I believe that true success lies in aligning our choices with our true selves. So, what is success? Since civilization was born, we have believed that success is measured on external factors, such as wealth, fame, and social status. Success, in my perspective though, is a journey that starts within us. It is about identifying our true desires, passions, and values, and executing our actions according to them. It's about finding fulfillment, not just in the material accomplishments, but in the very status of who we are. For me, having a loving family and having the ability to love them back and enjoying time with them is a form of success. Now, I want you to think of a successful person. What's the first image that comes to your mind? Okay, think about that for a second, right? Are we not unconsciously encouraging something we don't want? to be pushed and pressured to go through? I wonder how much of what my parents expected for me were their own heartfelt dreams. Or it was just something as a standard that was set by each and every one of us as a society. Now, I want to introduce someone I consider successful. Rosalind Franklin, an English female chemist who not only conquered formidable obstacles, but also listened to desires from her inner self. From birth, Rosalind faced various challenges in pursuing a career in the scientific world dominated by men. But with unwavering determination and craving curiosity, she entered the scientific world of inquiry. She defied expectations, carving a path with sheer brilliance and perseverance. And she embarked on a discovery that would change the scientific history forever. 
It was in those times of loneliness she would immerse herself in raw data. And she discovered Photo 51, a pivotal moment where the double helix structure of DNA was revealed. And it changed the science research course forever. Her triumph was not just a victory for science, but also a triumph over adversity. Today, we celebrate Rosalind Franklin as a pioneer, a trailblazer, and a beacon of inspiration. Her story does not only reminds us that it's important to fight for what we believe in, but also in what our desires needed to be. Pushing the boundaries and believing the courage within us, we forge our own path to success. So when we follow our desires, we become more motivated, driven, and resilient. So can I have a show of hands? How many of you are excited every day when you wake up, you're like, yay, I'm going to work. Or most of you guys are like, oh, so tired of work. Why am I going today? Okay, so I'm guessing most of you guys don't like work. Um, so I want to illustrate this by giving an example. Imagine a surgeon who was pushed to his profession. Do you think this person will ever be able to find inner peace and happiness? Think about that. Because I think our jobs has to become a hobby, a source of joy and satisfaction. So not, we're not chasing someone else's expectations or dreams. Instead, we're finding comfort in knowing that we're living life on our own terms. Now, I want you to picture a world where everyone supports you to pursue your dreams, not someone else's expectations, a place where enjoying your hobbies and sharing love with others is the mainstream of success. It doesn't rank you because of your wealth, fame, or how much you've achieved. Does anyone not like the idea? So lastly, I want to say that desire isn't instant satisfaction. It, is, it isn't material gain. Rather, it is something that is rooted in our core values. Com compassion for others and the desire to impact the world positively. It is hidden in our souls, urging us to live freely and bringing our unique gifts to society. As Na I want to end up my presentation by saying this. As Napoleon, Napoleon Hill very beautifully describes in his book, Think and Grow Rich, he says that the starting point of all achievements is desire. Thank you, everybody.